Okay, tool steering. Right here under the old steering config is now steering and GPS locations and tool steering settings. I don't know if I'm gonna leave it here. I might move it like how the other main vehicle steering is on its own window so that you can move it around and hide it and do other stuff while you're driving, that sort of thing. But just conveniently put it in here now. So you can have vehicle only or vehicle and tool, like if you have two GPS locations, or just tool only, in which case you may have a commercial GPS in your tractor and you want to steer your tool. So you would set up everything just like a normal vehicle steer, except now you're steering the tool. And uh, this button here, it allows you to change the settings so that it looks just like a tool. Uh, I'll maybe try to do that later. So this part is still the same in terms of bringing up your machine control and steering and that sort of thing. But the uh, the second tool now, you can either go at it via serial and then the tool steer module you would add here. That's module three. And that all is still the same as the original form. So you can either add a serial or you can just add it via UDP. And that's what I'm doing here. I made two simulators. This one is the vehicle simulator. That's this guy here, this antenna. And then this one is the tool antenna. Now, if you thought it was hard driving a single simulator, you ought to try to drive two of them and keep them in the same spot. So it's easier to test just to move the line back and forth and that sort of thing. But it all works. Down here, I'll just have the, I'll make another graphic for the tool. But here we have the top number is the, as I turn the wheel angle sensor, it goes up and down. And then this is the air, and then this is the, uh, the pulse width modulation value from 0 to 255 of the motor. And again, the easier way to do this is as we drive, see now our air is higher. So it just steers left and right, you know, based on the distance from this point to the line. It works on AB line and it works on AB curve. And then, so that just steers the tool. Now, steering the tool is a lot easier because remember, it's only a first order function, whereas steering a vehicle is a second order function. As you get, as you approach the line, you have to steer away from the line, whereas a tool, it just swings over and drags over. So all you need, and that's what this second number here is, is the distance from the tool to the line, and then you just create the angle accordingly. The tool setup part is much the same as the steering. You have your min, low, and high values for your max PWM and that sort of thing. Always remember to send and save. Counts, exactly the same way. You know, how quickly do you want it to respond? Offset, left and right. And then the P, haven't used the I yet. The I know is fairly simple because you're not really, you're still dealing, dealing with a steer angle, but you're really only working with position. So click send and save. So then I know to drive it, if we get going on the machine here, go on a couple, as we drive and as we move this couple over. So now we can drive the, the tool independently, this guy down here, make him go a little faster. Have him catch up. See as the air increases, the motor tries to steer the steering the other way. In a closed loop system, of course, it would just be doing this. It would just drive it the other way. See, as we cross the line, now the motor will slow down. So that's tool steering in a nutshell. Yeah, it's really hard to drive this. So anyway, I think you get the idea. It works. So we can have two, the way uh, the UDP works, you can have two UDP uh, RTK receivers, except the one on the tool needs to have port 10,000. That's more detailed, but you can do it with two, two transmitting antennas and Ag Open GPS is still smart enough to figure out which is coming from which source. And uh, so it, you can do it serial. You can do have one serial, one UDP. You can have them both serial, or you can have them both UDP, as long as you set the port on the one on the tool, as uh, as port ten thousand. 
uh, it can also send back, if you put a Panda type receiver on the tool, you can send back roll from the IMU with a GPS receiver, and then you can have uh, correction, uh, roll correction on the tool, independently from roll correction from the vehicle. So it can kind of do everything. And uh, hopefully we can incorporate a camera with this idea, be able to run some of the OpenCV stuff working on to do not only GPS, but camera alignment and that sort of thing. So it's, it's, uh, it's pretty neat, all the stuff that we can do now. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that it actually works. and It actually works really well. So looking forward to getting this finished up and, and working. But I thought I'd make a quick video about some of how it works. Anyway, thanks.